now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Ride of Dragon, God is Next Door, and John Haynes team up to take on the Dark Vampire in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Ride of Dragon, and paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today. Seven months into your Donald Trump's presidency, I clearly see that there is no hope of making America great again. Why do I say that there is no hope of making America great again? Because your president, Donald Trump, has no vision for where he sees the country, no direction that he wants to take the country in, and no plan for how he wants to implement his policies towards making the country great again. Moreover, we the people have no idea what direction we want to go in, nor do we have a vision for where we want to go, and in many cases, most of we the people are so dishonest, we don't want to admit that we don't want to go anywhere, and many of us are just comfortable right where we are, because when it comes down to Americans, they don't really want to change. And in order to make something truly great, you have to want to change. And when I look at most Americans, they complain about things, but they really don't want change because change requires hard work. This is why Barack Obama failed eight years ago, because we the people did not want change, and there is no hope of getting change because most Americans are comfortable and complacent where they are, and they talk about change, but they really don't want change. Now, your Donald Trump sat there and talked about making America great again, but the big problem with Americans is that they don't want to be great. Why don't they want to be great? Because greatness requires hard work. Moreover, greatness requires sacrifice. And most Americans these days don't like hard work, and they don't like sacrifice. They want everything given to them and provided to them for their convenience. Because if we look at our society, Everything to these days is about comfort and convenience. You can order something on your by punching in something on your tablet and having it shipped to you, or you can just go and have somebody do something for you. People don't want to work towards greatness. Greatness means you have to make again make those sacrifices, you have to work hard, you have to persevere, and you have to fight. And Americans just don't want to be great. They don't want to put in the work for being great and they don't want to make the sacrifices that great people do because great people persevere and they push towards what they want to do. They, w they expect people like Donald Trump to make them great when the big problem is our Constitution says we the people. So in order to get towards change that, and greatness, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. This is what most Americans don't understand when they go out here and try to expect a president to do what they're supposed to do for themselves. Now, when we look at this Donald Trump presidency, it's a complete disaster. And the reason why it's a disaster is because Americans just don't care about their own country. They would elect this guy who was clearly grossly unqualified for the position of the president of the United States to be their president. And they would sit there and say that this is a good thing, even in the face of this man imploding right in front of us. Because if we look at your Donald Trump, he has been imploding for the last seven months. We look at the way he handles things, he clearly shows that he has no diplomatic skills, he clearly shows he has no ability to navigate a course in Washington. This is why his plan to repeal and replace Obamacare has stalled at the starting gate, because your Donald Trump doesn't understand how Washington works. He does not understand that in order to get legislation passed, you have to build alliances with people, and you have to build support with people. Even with a supermajority of both controlling both houses and both and the Senate, your Donald Trump can't get a simple piece of legislation passed because he does not have a long a plan for working with the Congress and the Senate towards developing a constructive plan that will replace this disaster known as Obamacare. Now, I'm not a fan of this Affordable Care Act, but I see the solution right in front of me. Unfortunately, when it comes down to people in Washington, they don't want to deal with that solution because that solution would mean that the healthcare companies would lose a bunch of money. What is that solution? 
you're just going to have to give Medicaid to anyone making under $100,000 a year. If people want affordable care, that's just what you're going to have to do. Why? Because this is an existing program that's been sitting there. People are paying taxes into it, and it's right here. So why should we go out here and create an Affordable Care Act when we already had Medicaid and it was working perfectly fine in the 60s and the 70s, and there's, no, and there's nothing wrong with it? So there was, a, there was a solution right there towards repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act, and that was using an existing program. But no, nobody wants to do that because no one wants to do, take responsibility for anything in Washington or in America because Americans as I see it they want things but then they don't want to be responsible for anything they want help affordable health care but they don't want to pay for it they want social programs but they don't want to pay for them they want a great country but then they don't want to work for it because what I see the big problem with America is most Americans want things but then they don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to put the money into their country. They don't want to put the effort into making their country great. They want someone like Donald Trump to come in and clean up the mess, not understanding that when somebody cleans up your mess, they are going to be paying for that mess. And when they, they're paying for it, they're going to have to do business on their terms. This is the big problem with most Americans. They want greatness, but they don't want any they don't want to put any effort towards being great. They would rather sit there and be mediocre and then complain about the lack of greatness than actually put some effort into being great. This is why America won't be made great by your Donald Trump, your Barack Obama, or anyone else, because greatness starts with we the people and we the people taking responsibility for our own country. And the reason why people don't want to take responsibility for their own country is because they don't want to be responsible for anything. As long as there's somebody to blame things on, they have no problem with. That's why they are they're completely content with all the dysfunction going on in Washington right now. Because when we look at this Donald Trump presidency, it's a complete disaster from day one. We had this Russian investigation going on, and that's a disaster in and of itself because we don't we have we have Donald Trump sitting here arguing with people instead of just letting the investigation go because if you haven't done anything wrong you have nothing to worry about because again under our United States Constitution you are innocent until proven guilty that's why I saw it as suspicious as your Donald Trump sitting here talking about he wants to see if he can pardon himself if you have done nothing wrong you have nothing to worry about let the investigation go by. And then we have your Donald Trump feuding with Jeff Sessions, who was following the law and protecting the Trump presidency. Now, when your Jeff Sessions went out here and recused himself, he did that to protect the president. Because if he had sat there and, and supervised this investigation, then it would have been a clear conflict of interest. And with a conflict of interest, that would have made a lot of people very angry and upset, and they would have been talking about impeachment instead of talking about looking at this investigation. So Jeff Sessions was right to recuse himself. Unfortunately, your Donald Trump is talking about he wanted to fire him because he was following the law. And that should have been a red flag for most Americans. But unfortunately, most Americans are apathetic, most Americans are lazy, and they don't care about their own country. So they're not looking at that and seeing that's a red flag for you as an American citizen. That shows you that this man is clearly grossly unqualified to be the president of the United States because anyone who, is, who knows the executive branch knows you have to let procedures be done and let these investigations go on because if you haven't done anything wrong, you are innocent until proven guilty and you have to wait and they have to wait and prove that you have done something wrong before they do, do something like an impeachment proceeding or a removal. So I look at that, and that's a red flag for me with this Trump presidency, and shows me that he's not qualified to be the president of the United States. Moreover, I look at the dysfunction with his cabinet, with people like Sean Spicer and many others who have resigned or have left over the last couple of months, and that shows me that there is no direction when it comes down to the executive branch. 
There is no vision when it comes down to this executive branch, and there is no plan for taking the country in a direction in the 21st century. And as the 21st century has gone on with Bush, with Obama, and Trump, it's clear to me that no one really has a direction for this country. No one has a vision for this country. No one has a plan for this country. And they're thinking that technology alone is going to carry the country, but it can only carry the country but so far. If you don't have an economic vision for the country, a plan for distributing resources in the country, or a plan for what goals you want to accomplish for the country, your country is not going to go anywhere. When, when I look at America, it's heading down the same bad road that North Korea is on right now. Because your Kim Jong-un, he's sitting there talking about um, intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the primary reason why he's talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles is because he has no vision for North Korea, no economic plan for North Korea, and no direction for North Korea. So he has to go and use the U.S. as a scapegoat for his lack of vision because his father didn't give him a vision, his grandfather didn't give him a vision, and the collective plan for that communist country has taken them absolutely nowhere in the same way Fidel Castro's plan for Cuba took him absolutely nowhere because communism failed because primarily everyone isn't equal and everyone isn't fair and when it comes down to human nature people are going to try to get more resources for themselves so they can have more than the other person so with both of those countries they're pretty much directionless and the United States is headed down the same course of directionlessness because the people in America have no direction, they have no sense of where they want to go, and they have no sense of what they want to do. And we the people are the big problem because we the people have become comfortable, we the people have become lazy, we the people have become complacent, and we expect others to do for us what we're supposed to do for ourselves. And when it comes down to the American people, they're, they're so complacent they don't see where they're going or what direction their country is going in. They're expecting Donald Trump to make their country great. Unfortunately, the, we the people are the only ones who can make our country great again. And we can't make it great because most people don't want to do the hard work that greatness requires. They don't want to make the sacrifices that greatness requires. And they'd rather let some other guy do that work, and then when that other guy goes out and does that work, they want to get jealous, they want to get angry, and they want to get frustrated because that person has put in the effort to make themselves great and be great because that person wants to be great, and they get mad at that person for being great when they could have put in the exact same effort as that person and made themselves great. When I look at the state of the union, it's a sad state of affairs because it clearly shows me that Americans have not learned anything in the last 16, 17 years under George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump, it seems. And it seems like they're getting worse instead of getting better. And that's why there's no hope of making America great again, because Americans themselves just don't want to be great. If you'd like to see more videos on this channel, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you'd like to try some of the titles in my SJS Direct imprint, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.